exploring life's possibilities. So in this video, what I want to do is start to flow within a natural potential within us, which can, once activated, can explore different realms of possibilities outside our normality. Now, truth being is happiness is effectively the, the goal that we want to connect to. If we are experiencing happiness, it doesn't matter what's going on or what's interacting with us in our lives. As long as we can sustain that feeling of happiness, we can connect to gratitude. And that is, in essence, the outcome which we want to uh, align with. We want to become grateful and we want to feel happiness because when we have the happiness and we have the gratitude, we find that the things in our lives which would would have once affected us, would have once you know, manipulated us to feel pain, suffering, anger, frustration, deceit, jealousy, distortion, they just those though that energy cannot interfere with our life because we are experiencing life at such a high value we're experiencing life at happiness and gratitude this energy of happiness and gratitude is content it cannot be distorted and hence why the ultimate goal is to connect to happiness and gratitude because once we are connected to that existence that awareness that level of of conscious existence the the minuscule uh distractions in our life will always just be deflected in essence so that's why we come back and question what's in our lives in this present moment which is ultimately causing that not necessary deflection but infection to the ultimate goal of achieving happiness and gratitude each and every single one of us is a unique reflection of of existence we are all reflecting within the reflection of existence itself we are all manifestations of existence itself Therefore, we can all be reflected in different ways. We must question and ask some basic, very basic questions of what is subtracting from my potential to achieving happiness. In our lives, we can all identify what is not serving our purpose and the purpose being connecting to happiness. And when we start to ask those questions, we will bring to our awareness the truth. And in this reality, if we truthfully want to work within the space of growth, the space of activation to a higher potential, a higher potential of existence itself, if we want to move forward, we must ask these questions. And when we ask these questions, we will be given the truth. In, in essence, the truth will always be received for those who ask for it. And that's where we are ultimately given the greatest challenge, is once we receive the truth, if we don't learn to harness this truth and learn to work with this truth within momentum, which will ultimately bring the, the essence of of infusion, of activating a sense of dedication to the truth and what's true for the truth to manifest and evolve. If we don't learn to harness that truth and work with that truth, we will always be just reshuffled into the into the 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 matrix which we're living in. You can be given the truth, but if you don't take that truth seriously and learn to fight for it, work with it, and digest it, we will only be shuffled back into the system in another form, whether that's a form of distraction, whether that's a form of escape, whether that's a form of of just... It's really mainly distraction and escape, because if we can't handle the truth, we will always be distracted from it within some aspect 
And that's why once we harness the truth and learn to work with the truth, we will always be shifted into a different form of awareness of that truth. And when we shift through the different forms of awareness, we will see that the truth has so many different layers to it. We will see that once aligned to the truth, there is always more depth to investigate. And that is the beauty of this reality which we're living in, because once we start to align with the truth, we will process different layers of that truth. And we could look at those layers as, in essence, the the gift of of life itself there will always be more depth to to ingrain within our essence of of creation there will always be more space to explore within the infinite potential of oneself